the girl suddenly realized that her father might be a murderer. Just now, on her way home from school, she happened to encounter the police. The girl was terrified, because the person described by the police was exactly like her father. What shocked her more was that, upon returning home, she found her father's closet empty, leaving only two letters on the table. The content of the letters made her hair stand on end. To protect her father, the girl's actions were a perfect cover-up of the crime. She took away all photos of her father, then wiped down all the furniture with alcohol, ensuring not a single fingerprint was left behind, and finally burned the books on the bookshelf. Even if the police came, they would only consider her father's disappearance as a typical missing person case. Decades have passed, and Shinyu has grown up and found a well-paying job, yet she has never moved out of the house where her father disappeared, because every year on her birthday, her father would secretly send her a cardboard box, and she would wear white gloves, using professional tools to try to collect fingerprints from the box, but always without success. Her father's disappearance became an unresolved issue in Shin Yu's heart. She never dared let the police search, only she herself treaded every corner of the city, until one day, a patient came to the hospital. His physique and even his clothes were exactly like her father's on the day he left. Shen Yu thought for a moment that her father had returned, until the man took off his mask. She then realized he was not her father, just someone who looked similar. During the treatment, this man suddenly said, It turns out, a few days ago he had an argument with a woman, and pushed her in a moment of lost control. The woman fell down and started foaming at the mouth, and he was taken away by the police. It was later discovered that the woman was only unconscious due to overwork, unrelated to him. But his burnt right hand startled Captain Lang, because a serial killer who disappeared 12 years ago had similar scars. Captain Lang immediately had the man change into the same clothes as the killer, then stared at him with a venomous look. He remembered the killer's eyes. He indeed had no connection with the murderer. The mental torment gradually drove the man to break down, and he finally had to check into a psychiatric hospital where Shin Yu was the one to receive him. He had no mental issues, but when he took off his gloves, revealing his burnt hand, Shin Yu suddenly had a bold idea.